There's also support for AUG, which is an open standard audio format, unlike MP3, but um, most people still prefer MP3s. We also like to add support for the open media um, video format, which is the AUG, is it AUG Orbis or AUG 3R? I always forget. I think it's the AUG 3R. Um, so if anyone wants to uh, work on that with us this weekend at the Multimedia Sprint, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're going to be um, working on these different tools. You can get a chance to get, get, your, get your hands dirty with, with the audio and video and calendaring products. Um, we're trying to get them to a 1.1 final release, which is the first version to work with Clone 3 out of the box. So the current 1.0 version of, of the Clone for Artists products are working only on 2.5, and we have beta versions of the 1.1 the version of the software. So, okay. So there is the audio file that I just uploaded. Actually, that isn't the one I want to talk about. Sorry. So one thing that the, the Plone for Us audio product does is it will, it will actually extract all the metadata from the audio file. So you know if you're using iTunes, you've got like the artist, the album, the year, the genre, all that metadata is stored um, in the actual MP3 file. So if you, if you use iTunes to add that metadata, when you upload the file to your Plone site, all that metadata gets extracted automatically, and it's available and searchable. So if you can't remember the name of the song, but you remember, you remember the artist, or you remember that, the name of the album, you can search your clone site, and it will find that audio file, just, just by virtue of having that metadata in the catalog. OK, so looks like it's finished uploading. And you notice I now have a new MP3 file here and it extracted not only the metadata, but also the cover art image. So the image of the CD is actually embedded inside the MP3 file. And we can extract that and add that as an image attribute on the object. So I can just click right here and start playing that MP3 file. This is a friend of mine who plays the piano. Okay, and you click the edit button, and you'll, you're going to see here, um, again, I can add tags to this audio file, I can add a description, I can add a comment that gets written back to the mp3 file. It shows me the track number on the CD, so this like, 12 tracks, this is the first one. Um, I can replace that cover art image if I want. The bit rate, the frequency, that's, I can't change those because those are immutable. I can replace the file, the year, the genre. I don't know why they classify it. New Age is not like New Age. Uh, album, artist, length. And again, I can add a rich text description. This could be liner notes. This could be lyrics. This could be photos of the band members. You know, Whatever I want, I can throw in this field. And then, of course, the audio type is at the bottom. Um, now, if I go back and I publish this, So I only want to see the most recent audio on the site. <clears throat> and now it's just showing me the, the audio files. And I can you know, click on this one, start playing that. I click on the next audio file. Hey, it's Jonathan. Explaining the Norwegian weather, you know, it's, it's drizzling here in the archipelago. <laughs> so you can you can hear all about Jonathan's adventures in Norway here. I think there was one day, Jonathan, did you miss one day? You overslept or something? Or, yeah. <laughs> so, 
zeigen.